Dimension 5 looks at standards and technologies. It's the sort of technical end of the CMM. But while it is talking about technical things, it is also still quite policy oriented. We are looking at the extent to which a country has thought about their technology rather than specifically how tall a firewall they have or anything like that. So the first factor that we look at is Uh, how those apply in general, whether they have a mandate across government, uh, whether there are particular standards for procurement and concerning the life cycle of products and standards for services as well. The second factor is looking at security controls, which is perhaps the most uh, conventionally technical area where we look at the various kinds of control that are deployed in the country uh, and to what extent that has adapted to emerging technologies. And we also look at uh, the use of cryptography and uh, how widely deployed that is and for what purposes. The third factor is software quality and assurance. Uh, whether the country looks at the productivity loss due to poor software or pirated software and things like that. The fourth factor is internet infrastructure resilience. This is a place where there's a bit of overlap with dimension one, which looks at where the policy of the country, the strategy has set up things that look at the resilience of the infrastructure and the reliability of the infrastructure to support uh, incident response and the like. Um, but here we're looking more at to what extent there is reliable infrastructure and to what extent the country looks at the uh, monitoring of that and how it responds to any problems with the infrastructure. The fifth factor is the cybersecurity marketplace. We look either for evidence that there is some homegrown technology, which may be mo most appropriate for larger and more developed countries. Uh, but if the, the country is not one which you would expect to be able to roll its own, we look at evidence of uh, being a smart customer. So this is true for technology and for services and expertise. Um, and also we inquire about cyber insurance, whether that's something which has been adopted widely, whether it's something which is provided internally or whether it's coming from abroad. And, and again, whether there's uh, undue reliance on uh, possibly uh, uh, fragile partners. And the final factor is responsible disclosure. This aligns with some of the GFCE initiatives trying to ensure that legislation is protecting people who are looking for flaws in systems with a benign motive and not getting the cybersecurity researchers locked up for pointing out how bad something is to the people who have produced bad things. Uh, so there's that aspect, but also 
whether there is a good culture of sharing vulnerability information, whether there are mechanisms set up for doing that. Now, this dimension is perhaps the classic one that you think of when you talk about cybersecurity uh, from a industrial point of view. I mean, that there is the uh, strategy and policy aspect, which is covered by dimension one, and dimensions two, three, and four are important in the overall picture of the country. But this is the one where the, the core technology side of cybersecurity lives. Things evolve. There is a lot more being done in the cloud this these days. Um, so we have now got indicators looking at the provision of uh, services from outsourcing and in the cloud. Uh, the uh, Start that one again. Uh, the threat landscape is constantly evolving, and so we need to look at how the country is responding to that. But there is also a evolution of the deployment of things in the country. So this brings along new issues. So increasing reliance on the cloud, uh, increasing amounts of outsourcing, and how you uh, audit the uh, provision of services you know, by third parties. The integrated uh, the, the, the reliance of the connected world, so dependencies on neighbours and so on. And, and there are a number of areas of technology which are coming through, like IoT and uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence and so on. Rather than trying to list all of them and asking countries uh, how they are responding to those. We, we look for evidence that they are aware that things change and how they respond to those changes. 